Okay, guys, another common issue I can say it's about the DD15, <coughs> same as the D13 from Volvo. Uh, it sometimes happens that you get <coughs> diesel in your coolant tank. So, in that case, we have a little bit of issue here. Yeah, it didn't crank the first time. Okay, <coughs> so as we're speaking, uh, diesel in the coolant tank. Okay, diesel in the coolant tank represents usually the fact that the sleeves from the injectors uh, are cracked or damaged or uh, have a lot of, uh, let's say, corrosion. Uh, what we do in this situation, we just open up the cover and uh, inspect the injector cups. Uh, we also replace them because it's not that uh, expensive and uh, it's highly recommended to, to do something like that with a certain amount of miles. Uh, this actually is my brother's truck. We have issues too. <laughs> okay, let's move it in the in front of the garage. This is a procedure I don't need to put the truck inside. It's not something complicated to do. Uh, to someone that uh, done it before, uh, it doesn't take him more than, uh, I don't know, three to four hours. So we'll just park it here near our road service van. I also have to refill the engine for that. It just cracked a few days ago, but we really need her. She is a, a truck that we uh, really count on. When you have problems, we use it to come after you and uh, help you as much as we can to fix problems. I'll be back in just one minute. I'll open the hood and I'll show you exactly what's the problem, guys.